Hi everyone, welcome back to MHub Inside. Today we're talking to Stephanie Wheat, who is an MHub member and the founder of Rebellion by Stephanie Wheat. It's a handbag company and she has an office space in MHub's co-working and prototyping facility. That's a really unique take on setting up the space to be a little production facility within the overall facility. So we're gonna look at the office, we're gonna look at some of the equipment that Stephanie uses, some of the products, but let's jump into the awesome. space. Come on in. Yeah, uh, thanks. Okay. And I want to jump over here and look at a couple of these bags that we were talking about. Oh, sure. Earlier you were telling me about just maybe this key piece, how it kind of sits on the hip and how you were solving for for that problem. Yeah, so with this bag here, you um, what you do, this is our medium crossbody and this is our most popular bag. So this one is our Tibetan wool. Um, and it's just oh my gosh, super fuzzy, so super fun, like everyone loves this Who one. Who doesn't love that? So um, basically what it does is it allows you to carry it in a couple of different ways. So you can carry it here, you can snug it under your shoulder in a pinch, but then when you place it on your body, what ends up happening is that second strap hits your hip like a belt. Yep. And so immediately what it does is it draws attention to what looks like and gives the illusion of being your waist. So it slims your waist yep. and it rounds your shape. So it's body complimenting, it looks good on, people get tons of compliments. Yep. So what we do is we print our business cards by the 10,000. We put 10 of them in every bag. So if someone buys one of our bags, we just ask sure. them, you know, if you get a compliment, if you're at the grocery store, if you just dig into the bag and hand out the card, it's how we get all of our business. That's great. So it's really Perfect like a word, word of, of mouth marketing. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, we're all about that. That's great. And so here that's you one. were showing us that this, you're using the UV printer, which we can talk about yes. at that machine. Yes, so we started having artists um, create um, designs on our bags. So we were hand painting with acrylic paint a bunch of um, different things. And this one we started with was um, Rose Hill. So she sure. has these little girls that were originally commissioned for Oprah. And so she's been painting these little girls on our bags for about six months now. We decided to innovate and utilize the UV printer that's here. And so we've been able to create these on the UV printer that we'll see a little bit later. But again, this sort of thing, um, since we are littering the earth with our bags, I know I'm gonna leave behind a lot of handbags. I want to do messaging that goes along with that, that supports sort of the idea of, you know, what rebellion is all about, which is, um, this one says, I am more powerful than I know. So mm -hmm. just, you know, if we're gonna do this and we're gonna be in the public eye, we might as well be sending some messaging that is positive to, yeah. to the world. So. That's sort of the idea behind that. That's lovely. We've got um, Rebellion. And then the belt too, which is, yeah, this is what's stamping this. So this one is actually one of the straps. So we, what we're doing oh, here okay. is we're using the laser cutter to do this as well. Okay. And which is fun, we have Innovation Mondays. So my assistant and I learn something hard on Monday. So I, I tell her, come prepared to blow your brain, you know, because we're literally gonna, I want to make sure that we're continuing to learn yeah. and to challenge ourselves to do things that are difficult. Yeah. So that's uh, a great idea to build it into the week and start with a Monday, get it out of the get way. Get it out of the way. You yeah, don't have to we, dread it all week. Yeah, <laughs> we schedule a help session and we're just going to learn something new in the with all the machines that are in the back. That's so. great. Well, let's jump into the shop and we can bring some of the bags and we can talk about the specific tools that you guys are using. Great. Um, so we'll see you there. Awesome. Okay, so we are in the M Hub shop, particularly the textile lab, which I don't think on this channel we've showed you yet. So. This is the perfect opportunity. Um, Stephanie was talking about the clicker press, which we're gonna go to first, because that is a piece of equipment that her team uses often. Um, custom painted pink, which is fabulous. Yeah, so we um, decided we wanted to stand out a little bit. <laughs> yes, just a bit. <laughs> yeah, so kind of a crazy undertaking, um, but we decided to paint it pink, so super fun. Um, so what we do here is we bring our leather back, and then we click out with our, our dies. Um, in one fell swoop, we can actually have all of the holes cut okay. and um, the bags. 
And do you have one of these for each size? So this we would be... Do. This is for the small. Small, yes. and then, okay. Yeah, we have that. Um, and did you, where did these come from? Did you... We sourced these through a company in Texas. I think, um, I think it's called Di, um, Di, Texas Dyes or okay. something like that. <laughs> Great. Yeah. So they are incredible. Has cut our time down on creating our bags from like, yep. you know, a, a fraction of the time. So. Yeah. So you just turn it on, press it. Turn it on. Yeah. Do you want me to? Well, I don't have any leather to show yeah, you. Yeah, that's okay. We get the idea. Yeah. But it was interesting what you were saying about um, then the hardware that gets pressed also. So are you using the die for that as well? Or We're not. Okay. What we're doing is we, um, we just cut out a piece of sheet metal and then we place the bags down with the rivets in and then we click them in. Okay. So Does it happen on the first try or is that it, a... It took us a little while to figure it out, okay. but um, we did. And yeah, so it's just a one... Sometimes we have to click two places depending on the size of the bag. So it's two clicks. So, yeah. you know, went from taking us probably 20 minutes to press the rivets to, you know, three seconds. Yeah, so. that's great. And since you guys do do the rivet riveting, there's no sewing involved. There's no sewing. Yeah. And, and we do um, actually some of one of a kinds, I do sew those. Okay. And then we do once in a while do linings and the interiors. But for the most part, our design is super simple. It does keep it lighter weight as well. Right. But because we're not sewing the edges, these rivets are long lasting. I mean, you can carry one of our bags for 10 years. Yeah. So it helps with the longevity and the sustainability of our, our brand. It's great. So I want to jump over to the UV printer, which okay. happens yes. to be right here. Awesome. Um, because this bag that you were talking about is UV printed. Yes. Um, and so I'm just curious what your experience was like getting up to speed on the UV printer. Like these had been hand painted and then you had someone obviously making a design file for them and moving here. Well, so um, originally what we were doing is like I mentioned, we were having all of our bags hand painted, which we'll, we'll still do. Okay. But the price point, you know, it of adds course. a lot yeah. to that. So with us able to do the UV printer, what we're doing is we're just um, utilizing um, Illustrator and my team is able to just create whatever it is that I sort of have in mind. And so we'll just kind of go back and forth on the design a bit. And then we're, we're just learning literally how to utilize this machine. Okay. So this was one of the first designs that we made. and. Um, some of the others we've already sold, but this one I'm kind of just holding on to for a bit so that we have something that's an original. Sure, yeah. Um, but this machine itself, it's a, it can be a little complicated. I was gonna ask, what do you yeah. think? Is it like a steep curve? Yeah, short you know curve? what? I think honestly, we tell ourselves these stories that things are harder than they really are sure, when yeah. in reality, everything is hard and you, until you do it, until you right. learn how to it's do it. Some time. Yeah. yeah, so this is a part of our Innovation Mondays and we'll continue with this, the learning curve and the process of figuring out what it is that we can do with this machine, but yeah. so far, so good. Good. Well, and the next successful print that you have, we'll put it on our Instagram or something. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. that would be great. Cool. Great. So then what, I think we want to look at um, the little photo studio that we have and then maybe the laser cutters as well. Awesome. So we'll head over to the laser cutters and we'll see you there. So, yeah, over at the laser cutter, there's actually a job in the works. So, yes. tell so, us how this is set up. Yeah, so um, one of my team members, Rihanna, has been running this job for us. So, what we're doing is we're utilizing the laser cutter yes. to um, actually raster our branding into the bag. So, and it's so like light feeling. It's like so, it's not like a very deep. It's not. Yeah. That's one, one of the things that we've had to play with a bit yeah. is figuring out, you know, the depth that we want this to go to and because it's different for every leather, yeah. essentially changing the settings as we go sure. um, and figuring that out. So it's a big part of putting the pieces together. We um, are, I, I want to say that Rihanna is really very efficient on this laser Machine. cutter, nice. but we have recently just learned how to use this big one here, which... <laughs> Yeah. 
is another level yeah <laughs> another level for sure this is what I was talking about when I was saying that Mondays are for blowing our minds sure. we're like okay what is the next machine that we can learn and um, we want to challenge ourselves so just That's always continually learning and trying to evolve what it is our you know our craft yeah I think is important so, so. do you think you would permanently move over to that machine or you'll use both for different we'll use both. types of jobs yeah we'll, yeah we'll use both in fact it would be nice if we could use both at the same time there you go so. yeah there's that. Yeah. Great. Well, should we stop into the photo studio yeah, and just see like final look. product, how we can stage that and set it up for the e-commerce store? Awesome. All right. Welcome to the AV studio. This is kind of a new space at M Hub. It's a soundproof room for podcasting or video, but also a um, set up for photography and so there's different backgrounds that can be pulled there's lighting that can be hung from different ways so Stephanie's gonna tell us about how she set up uh, shots for her product and then how you go on to sell them yeah so um, we make everything here in the house and then we bring the bags just most recently we've started utilizing this space and yeah. so um, what we do is we have a backdrop that we set up. We utilize, we use this, but we actually hang our bags from a string. Okay. So that they can actually just um, hang sort of like this. Perfect, yeah. And then we, we show them in a couple of different ways. And then we send these over to our graphic designer to do any edits. Um, if there's anything, shadow needs to be removed, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, so this is essentially where things come to be photographed. And then we upload them to our app and to our website. So we've just currently started um, streaming live quite a bit, and we have an app to be able to do that. And then um, we just stick, you know, stay in touch with our customers directly through social media and through doing trunk shows around the country. Yeah. And we're planning on doing a lot of pop-ups. Neat. Let's take a look at your app if you have your oh, phone sure. handy. And that's such a unique selling model um, and the live streams. So yeah, so here is Rebellion Bags is our app. And so this just sort of will show you what you can see. So essentially this is our live studio. And if you take a look, what you can do is you can actually just buy directly from the app. Amazing. You can also go to different areas within the app. So if you want to, see about see the jeans you just hop ahead to the jeans so I'm selling the jeans that I have on so we sell a bunch of different designers and our own things so it's sort of like a shop the look yeah and I guess I shouldn't have that that's so. happening live that's so neat yeah so at any rate you should download our app <laughs> and how often do you do that? Is that like a once a week stream? So the um, plan is to stream probably three days a week. I've okay. just hired an assistant who's working on a regular basis in my live studio. So um, we have been streaming more to Instagram and to Facebook. Yep. Yep. But we are beginning to stream directly to our app. That's great. The right model for social media and to have a custom app for that. That seems super user friendly yeah. and such a good place to go for so, people that know your so brand. So user friendly. Yeah. And it's it's funny because we literally, you know, it took us nine months to get the app like up and functioning. Course, it was yeah. a whole thing. Yeah. And still a work in progress. So yeah. we're just uh, getting it all together. I understand the pain of development. <laughs> so. yeah. Well, great. Stephanie, thanks so much for speaking with us today. I yeah. hope. Yes, um, viewers absolutely. that you enjoy this kind of seeing the really the start to finish of a product um, being made under the M Hub roof. Um, so Steffi, thanks for sharing the, your creative vision and some of your bags. Do you want to share your website and where people could go to learn more about Rebellion? Oh, sure. Um, rebellionbags.com is the website and Rebellion Bags is our app. So, um, you know, and then you can certainly come see us here at M Hub. Just come knock on our office door. We're here every day, Monday through Friday, and we're here on weekends, so. Good for you. Yeah, <laughs> we're sometimes the only people here on weekends, but we are consistently the only ones here those days. So you will catch them for sure if you come on by. Uh, thank you so much. We'll see you guys next time. Right, thanks. Like, subscribe, and comment if there's something particular that you want to see. Thanks, bye.